Man, they did Eileen dirty here. What's up? We're back with Kathy Rain, day four. It's Gnarly J, holding it down for high latency. Alrighty, so, um, Oh, good morning. Hi, Kathy. What, uh, morning? This is, wow, this is quite the surprise. You have <sighs> such a lovely friend, dear. We've been chatting all morning. Oh, I have no doubt. She's quite the talker, this one. You sleep even longer here than you do back home. Oh, gee, must be the blissful lack of distractions here, E. Can I talk to you for a sec outside, alone? Okie dokie, if your grandmother doesn't mind being left all by herself for a while. Sure. You go ahead, children. I'll be right here if you need me. She totally wants me. <laughs> this is like stalker number two here. Is the concept of personal boundaries new to you? That's a rhetorical question, right? Was a single morning devoid of Eileen too much to ask? I'm frankly surprised that I'm allowed bathroom breaks by myself with you in the same building. I was super bored. Besides, you never got back home last night. I wanted to make sure you were okay. Well, as you can plainly see, I'm not a corpse. You could be a very convincing zombie. Very funny. You can go home now, E. Fine. I won't tell you what I found in my research yesterday then. hate you. I'm so glad you asked. I looked up a few statistics for this county, looking for any anomalies. First off, there's a high number of missing persons reports in the area. That wouldn't be too unusual if, let's say, the county had a high crime rate. But it doesn't. Violent crimes are actually lower than in other comparable counties. Yeah, but huh. there are a lot of woods. Creep. It gets even better. It turns out that this county has the highest number of clinically insane in the state. And guess what? Conwell Springs County is tiny. Per capita, the difference to, like, to the county in second place is humongous. Over a thousand percent. That makes some sense. I found out that this cocky person is locked tight at Ingstrom's. Wow, we should go talk to him, right? He must have some answers. That's the plan. I should probably fill you in on the rest I found. So, I'm going to head over there today and confront Isaac about the paintings. Don't you think it's a bit risky, Kathy? It could just backfire and piss him off. Oh, I'm hoping it will. Nothing wrong with some good old provocation to make people show their true colors. You never gave him the picture of the lights, right? Nah, I didn't want the guy to faint. He sounded pretty brainwashed about the Holy Trinity thing. And none of the church people know who I am, right? I guess not. So? My point is that you grilled the priest good yesterday. You already tried it your way. I'm a fellow Christian. Maybe I could try something different, like make up a cute cover story and pretend to want to join their church. If he still won't trust me, I can show him my copy of the picture. Maybe it will make him open up. I suppose it would give me enough time to drive back to the city and talk to Jimmy before it gets too late. Yay! Oh, let's do it! I'm so excited. I can't wait to lie to people. Um, You Elaine? know that's a sin, right? Oh, I'm sure Jesus will make an exception this time. After all, he loves me. Um. I'm not going to waste any time then. Let's catch up on the phone tonight. Okie dokie. Talk to you later. I know it is a sin, but uh, I'm sure Jesus will just forgive me this one, one time. Mm. Hello, Jimmy. I've been looking for you. Oh, is it for real this time? Yes, this is all very real. So you're going to ask me about Joseph now? How do you know that? Who told you? You did. Every time you came here. You're not making any sense, Jimmy. We've never met before. I'm making perfect sense. Everyone says so. 
I'm the sharpest tool in the shed. All bets are off now, Missy. Better buckle up and enjoy the ride. Forget all the rules. No going from top to bottom. No checking off all the items on your list. Start by asking me about the young chronicler. Um, okay, so apparently the <laughs> walkthrough was very insistent about me talking to things in a particular order, so here we go. Was Lily Myers the chronicler? A drowned girl, yes. She saw the loops, the endless possibilities. She found that the branches had all been severed. Nothing but inevitability remained, staring her right in the eye. In the end, she was pulled across the great threshold, just like I was. I was next. Next for what? You're not listening. I'm next. What happened to you, Jimmy? Why are you in this place? I'm not. I'm six feet under, looking up, watching reruns without a care in the world. You know, Joseph was a beacon. His passing sent ripples traveling in all directions, touching all of us with burning intensity. In my case, resulting in immobilizing guilt. After all, I sent him out there. It was all my fault. What was? What did you ask him to do? Be patient. We'll get there eventually. We need to follow the rules. Let's continue, ironically, with the men who break the rules. You mean the Black Hats? They're the men who break the rules? Indeed. Your father broke every rule in the book, did he not? That's a mild way of putting it. I feel your pain, but you will be free of him soon enough. I've seen you atop a great pit, dropping the last remaining memento of him into the empty blackness below. Your mother, on the other hand, that's a story with a different ending. You know m Mom? How... how is she? Why don't you see her yourself and find out? It's complicated. The last time we met was... ugly. Looking away won't make it any less ugly, Kathy. I know, just not yet. Very well. Let's go see the man you reunited with his family. The man in red? Is that who you're talking about? Yes, indeed. Who is he, really? The collector of souls. The one who beckons and prepares. Some call him a spirit guide. Others, a devil dressed in red. You are doing so much better than the last time. Now, ask me about the first thing you can think of. What happened to my grandfather in 81? Oh, poor Joseph. Wrong place, wrong time, wrong friends, wrong life. An unstoppable force meeting an immovable object. There had to be course correction, Kathy. The house always wins. What did you ask him to do? I asked him to find the source and destroy it. For me, for Lily, for all of us. The source of what? Everything. The madness, the betrayals, the limitless suffering. How would he do that? I don't know. Joseph had a plan. I found the message you left for Grandpa. You said, it happened to you too. What did? Needing the lights, of course. Don't you have my picture from the night in the forest? You mean this? Oh, yes. I felt so warm, so comfortable, luring me in. But when they got close, I could feel my mind split in two. I found myself with one foot on either side of the line, the thin line between hell and here. It felt like breathing through my nose with my mouth underwater. No wonder some sink beneath the surface, never to be heard from again. Was that what happened to Joseph, Jimmy? Did he sink to the bottom? I wish I knew. 
I'm just a man stuck with his ear up against the wall, picking up a word here and there. I am so tired, Kathy. I can feel the lights even now. Endless static in my head, like a TV tuned to a dead channel. But what are they? Where do they come from? The Cradle of Obscurity. The Alpha Dwar Omega. The Distorted Mirror. Why are you constantly speaking in riddles? Why do you assume I have a choice? We are nearing the end. Ask me about the misguided faithful. Is the Church of the Holy Trinity the misguided faithful? They are, yes. What makes you call them that? Isn't it obvious? They believe the lights are divine. The lights are neither divine nor unholy. They are but a twisted reflection of us. The judge and the jury are innermost child, our greatest fear. Everything we long for and desire. It's more than most of us can take. The cup runneth over. How do I stop them? You must go to their birthplace, their source. You must go to the cradle. It's the only way to save your friend. What? Are you talking about Eileen? Yes, she is being claimed. She's in great danger. You have to go back, Kathy. Less. I need more than that, Jimmy. <gasps> Nurse, help! Ooh, veteran bike design. I need to find Eileen. An achievement. Joseph's girl. Ooh. All right, before I find Eileen, oh, I must have got that from the black hats. But why would I wrap them if I'm not part of them? Hmm, that could lead to trouble. Uh, I mean, not to be boring, but I might just stick with this for now because it matches her hair. <laughs> oh, these are black doll. Mm. Kill Eileen. Where's my girl Eileen? Oh, it's the Trinity. Isaac's here too. desk. There might be something useful inside. Found a large old key in here. Hey! What are you doing in here? Cut the bullcrap! Where is she? Where's Eileen? What in the Lord's name are you talking about? Red-haired girl, I know she came here to see you. Tell me where she is, or I'm calling the cops. I don't think that's quite necessary. Breaking and entering, are we? You don't understand. My friend has been kidnapped. Funny story. Hands behind your back. Now! Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. You better hope that Father Price doesn't press charges. I want my phone call. <laughs> Can't hear you in there. You know, technically she didn't break anything. You are such a fucking prick. Enjoy your little vacation. I know I will. She didn't break and enter anything. So, he, I mean... Well, this blows. He doesn't really have a right to hold her. And I'll... I smell like goober. I don't know. And fucking tastic how it works in the states but all she was doing technically was trespassing i need to get out of here who knows what that freak is doing to eileen right now well there was the thief the thief like the theft as well but they don't know that she took that key <laughs> um oh okay let's see looks like the mop is within reach maybe i can make some use of it all right so grab it okay now what no Turn the TV I on. I don't think that accomplishes much. Um. Okay. Now what? I should probably just look at the walkthrough. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Here we go. Hmm. Worth a shot. 
What? What? I don't even know what I'm doing. What's worth a shot? What? How is that Oops. useful? Is the key on there? Must be. These paper clips oh, paper make clips. Useful. I see. Oh, I like the action music. Two large paper clips, nice and thick. These are probably robust enough to make a lockpick out of them. Okay, let's see if I still got it. Not perfect, but they should get the job done. Paper clips, prepared for lockpicking duty. Okay. They should be able to deal with a tumbler lock or two before breaking. I'm so good. So there's an evidence bag. I don't see an evidence bag. Locked. What a shocker. Okay, maybe it's in this room. I'm not leaving without my things. Okay, so what is in here? Is it... I saw Lenny put them in that big locker over there. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so this is different from the walkthrough. The walkthrough says search the evidence bag on the desk. Doesn't say anything about picking a lock. I wonder if mm, this is supposed to be the. Hmm. Okay, got all my things back. The key I found in the church too. Oh wait, what's this? Something is written on the back side of the photo of the lights. Jimmy must have done it when I wasn't looking. Let's see. Your metal box, Joseph. I'm so sorry. I forgot where I hid it. Weren't we in a different troop before we were men? Or are these memories not mine? Poor Jimmy. Between the ramblings, it sounds like Grandpa gave him something to hide. I'll have to look into that, but first things first. Getting the hell out of here. I need to do something about Lenny. Hmm. Okay. This is not in the. This is not in the walkthrough I'm using. Is this the director's cut? Maybe not. No, I'm looking at the non director's cut walkthrough. No wonder. Um, maybe I can use the phone? I don't know. Oh, I must have missed okay. this before. The public phone number to this police station is on a sticker here. Um. I'd like to report a crime. Certainly, ma'am. Is this an emergency? Yes. I need immediate help. One moment. Let me connect you to the emergency dispatch. Crap. That's not what I wanted. Guess what, Lenny? I escaped. 
What? Is that you, Kathy? In the flesh. You guys really suck at your jobs, you know that? How is this even possible? Where are you? On my way to find my kidnapped friend, since you guys are totally useless. This has got to be some kind of trick. Go check the jail if you don't believe me. Bye now. Okay, I gotta figure out some way to trick him. Fast. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, you've had your fun. Back in the cell, please. Oh, come on, Lenny. You know this is bullshit. The door to the church was open. I okay. just walked in looking for my missing friend. I don't make the rules, Kathy. Get back in your cell, or I'll have to use force. Alright, so apparently... <laughs> apparently... Okay, got all my things back. The key I found in the church, oh, too. Oh, thank you. Thank you for ma not making me do all that again. Okay, so apparently I have to leave the locker it's door quite open. A roomy locker. Nearly empty too after I grab my things. Okay, do I have to look back in again? What's going on here? I did that already. Okay, so quite open a it. If I ever need to find evidence, I'll know where to look. <sighs> they look sturdy enough. Wouldn't be able to break them open without taking my time. What, Lenny? I escaped. What? Is that you, Kathy? In the flesh. You guys really suck at your Too job. Too bad he you doesn't that? say what again. <laughs> Where are you? <sighs> On my way to find my kidnapped friend, since you guys are totally useless. This has gotta be some kind of trick. Go check the jail if you don't believe me. Bye now. So I think this is all. This is okay, all like. Okay, I gotta figure out some way to trick him fast. New because, yeah, the other walkthrough I was looking at didn't have this puzzle. It just said, "Leave the station, and your evidence was in a bag on the desk." Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! This is kind of fun. Come on out. I know you're hiding in there. Nice try. I can't hear, you know. What? Okay, you've had your fun. Back in the cell, please. Oh, <laughs> I'm so silly. Oh, sorry, guys. It says you have okay, to. This is me back. not reading it properly. I found the church too. <laughs> it says I have to turn the TV on first. <laughs> oh lordy. Okay. Oh no. Can I do it with a foot? Yeah, okay. This is the Conwell Springs Police Department. How can I help you? Guess what? Right, no, we don't need to hit the dialogue again. On my way. This is go, go check. Alright. Okay, I gotta figure out some way to trick him fast all right okay it should work this time oh shit oh shit oh shit <laughs> Come on out. I know you're hiding in there. What the heck? Sorry, Lenny, you're not giving me any choice. I'm going to find my friend. Open up. 
That's gonna be some kind of crime. Habeas corpus. What are you wearing? Oh, uh, that's all. Jesus. Well, I happen to know a belt who likes me. Ew. Now that's a very good girl. Good thing the bike was still where I left it. Teleport? No, no teleport. Let's do this. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. And the Lord replied, Man, they did Eileen give dirty you a new here. Heart and put Look at those a new legs. In you. Well, I will way remove too chubby. You your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. It just looks weird. I have swept away your offenses Compared to like how she looks in the other scene. Your sins like a morning mist. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. Hey, what's that? Eat this! Eileen? Snap out of it! No, oh, God, it's happening again! Just like it did with Grandpa! What did he do to you? Okay. Apparently. <laughs> He's had enough. It could kill him. Oh, okay. So that's an achievement, apparently. Um, and you get a second one if you've got all the previous stun gun achievements, which I guess I don't. Um, alright, well, I can hear my daughter is awake now, so perhaps we'll just leave it here. Because things are getting crazy on Kathy Rain Director's Cut. Mm -hmm.